Today, I will talk about testing and unit testing, and we will focus on how to test your .NET MAUI view models. Welcome back to another video about .NET MAUI. Today, we will focus on testing and unit testing, something that I'm a big fan of. I think that writing unit tests is really important to ensure the quality of your applications. Doesn't matter if it's an app, a backend, or a website, unit tests are there to secure the quality of the code. So today, we will focus on view models. Because view models can be a bit tricky, how to unit test. And I also read a question on Twitter uh, a couple of days ago where one person asked how to best test uh, the view models. So I decided to share my approach in a video. So let's go to Visual Studio and we will start writing some tests. So here I have now opened Visual Studio and one of my projects I'm working on it's a .NET MAUI app and using MVVM so we have the view models here that we can go and test and all this code is already available on uh, github so if you go to my github you will find it and I also add a link in the video description but what we need to do now is to go and create a unit test project so we do that new project so we go to test so we can show between MS test X units an n unit. Uh, I used to use either x unit or n unit, but for this demo we can go with x unit because that is the one I have used most recently. Here we have the project. We got one test from start, and we got some global use things also in here. So what we need now, what I so what I used to do is that I used to use a mocking library, for example, n substitute or moq. Uh, for this, we will use n substitute. And I also like to use a package called fluent assertion that makes the assert part a little bit easier. So we will install those packages now and I will show you how they will work. So for n substitute, and fluent assertion. Okay, now we have installed the NuGet packages. Now we are going to create our first test. So if we open here, we can see what view models we have. Uh, we have a connect view model, for example. We can start with that one. So we rename this test to connect view model tests and also rename the file because that makes things look nicer. So now we have our first test. Let's see what we can start with to testing. So we have some logic here in, in the on appearing method. Uh, we have on parameter set. We have some commands. So I usually like to test those methods here that's loading data and are public so like on appearing uh, on parameter set and the commands then we can do some assertions on let's say on parameter set and see that we have the right properties set and with the right values so on parameter set and on appearing here is from the base class i have here and that is from my library tinyMVM. But everything I show here can also be used on other frameworks. So let's go to the unit test on parameter set test because we start with that test. So, so the first thing we should do is to set up this unit test. So we will follow the triple A pattern, arrange, act and assert. So let's start with arrange. So we will create a view model here, uh, and that will be the connect. That will be the connect view model. 
that it cannot be found here because we also need to go and add a project reference, of course, to this other project. And now it could not restore the packages for that. And the reason for that is that we only targeting Mac Catalyst here. So we need to go and set also .NET 7.0 as a target framework, like this. Now we can verify that this still builds. So as you can see, the build failed. And the reason is that we don't have a static main method for .NET 7. And the reason this fails is because output type is exe. And um, to make this work, we need to have it as a library. So we are going to add some conditions here. So we say if target framework is Mac Catalyst, use exe. Otherwise, if it's .NET 7, use library. And now we can try again and it should work for us. Yes, now the build succeeds. We can go back here and we should be able to restore the packages. Okay, so let's see if we can find the view model now. Yes, if you import the namespace set, it will not be a problem and we can move this to the usings. So global. So we don't have to add this every time. Okay, let's see what this one needs. We need a I connection service and we need I future service. So let's go and create that connection service. And now we will use an substitute to create a substitution object for the interfaces. So we do like this substitute for I connection service. And then we have the feature service. So we copy this and change the values. Feature service and I feature service. And now we can add them here. Like that. And now we want to test this on parameter set method and as you can see here, we don't interact at all with the uh, services. So that means that we don't have to create any mocks for them. But as you can see here, we have a navigation parameter property that uh, should be a string and it checks for the value new. So we'll go to set up that too. So we do view model dot navigation parameter and that is a public property so we can modify it so we just going and set it to new and then we can do the actual act part of the test and in this case it just to run a view model on parameter set like this and that is a task so we can go and change the type of the test to async task and then we can await it okay now we have that and we should not do anything at all with the result there so what we are going to do now is we go to the assert part of the test so we say view model show new and now it comes to the fluent assertions part so we can go and add those usings too global using fluent assertions so show new dot so show new should be true and also show connections was set in that method so we going to test that to show connections should be true no it should be false so now we can run our test. So we go here to test explorer and we can run the test. Oh, it is not working. Let's see why. Uh, 
okay, could not load file or assemble Microsoft MAUI controls. Okay, even if we don't have any reference to MAUI here, it seems like it need to have the MAUI stuff referenced. So what we do is that we go to the project file and here we say use MAUI. True. And now we can try to build it. That works fine. So then run. Yeah, and now the tests succeed. We can go and copy this test. And of course we should test what happened if we send in another value here too. On parameter set test underscore two, just to name it something. So we change here to old. I don't know why old, but we need another value. And now both of those should be false. And yes, they are. Okay, so now we can go and test the on appearing method. So we go to the connect view model and see what we are doing there. So what we are doing is that we are loading a list of connections. So then we should test if connections property have a specific amount of values. So let's go back to the unit tests. We can copy this to get started faster. And now we say on uh, pairing test. Uh, we still need those. We need those. We don't need that one. Uh, we should call on a pairing. And we remove those for now. Okay, so what we need to no do now is to specify how many connections that should be returns. So connection service dot uh, get and then returns and this is an substitute feature that we can do like this returns and then say task dot from result because this is async method so we need to do like this and now new list of connection uh, and now we can say create connection info object uh, yes, we can create them two empty ones. We don't need the values here right now. And now we can go to assert and say view model dot connections dot should have count two. And let's see. If we did something else, yes, show connections should also be true. So we check that too. Should be true. So and now we can go and run the on appearing test. Yeah, it succeeds. Okay, now we have one test left to do in this video. We also want to test a command. So you go here and see what we have. Uh, we have this one called open connection. So let's go back to the test class and create a new test. So we can copy this one. So open connection command test. Okay. So let's see what we need. We don't need this. Uh, we still need that. We should call here instead open connection command dot execute and then we pass null to it. And then we don't should not have an await. Okay. Uh, and when we do a search, let's see, what should we assert on then? We can go here. So we want this navigate to method to be executed. And in this case, we have an abstraction of the navigation uh, from TinyMVM, but uh, you can use your own there too. So let's go here and uh, receive dot in order async 
Plus an action. Add that method, and we don't have navigation like this here, so we do view model dot navigation, and then we instead do view model dot connection string here. Now we just need a semicolon there, and we are ready to run this test to see if it works. Okay, so this fails. So let's see what it is. Object reference not set to an instance of an object. Okay, so let's debug it. Uh, okay, here we can see Microsoft Mau application model not implemented. Okay, may, we cannot use main thread here when in tests. So we should avoid that in the view models. Uh, and one fix for this is that we can do, create a wrapper around it. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, so we go here, we can create a, a helpers folder. And we create a main thread helper. New class. Uh, we make it static, create a static method called public static void begin in walk on main thread action. And then we check if device info dot platform is uh, platform dot is uh, is equal to device platform dot unknown then instead we just do a task dot run uh, because it doesn't make sense if we do that or not then we do return and then we can do main thread dot begin invoke a main thread and pass an action and we should leave a comment here uh, that this is for supporting unit tests and now we also need this is main thread property so bool is main thread uh, and get We can copy this logic, but we instead return true here. And here we return main thread dot is main thread. Just like this, and we should do it set method static. Okay, now we can go back to the connection view model and we can replace this main thread dot is main thread with main thread. A helper dot is main thread and here we'd say main thread helper dot begin invoke on main thread. Okay, now we can run this. Yes, it works. Okay, so let's see if all tests works now. Okay, now we have tested uh, some methods that are updating properties in view model. We have tested methods that are loading data and we have testing commands. So this is often how I doing the tests of my view models. So of course you can test more stuff, you can set property values and check what happens there, but often it's enough to test the commands and methods that are loading data. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and there will be more content about .NET MAUI and other .NET stuff in the future as well. See you then, bye bye.